What's up y'all it's your girl deja k davis and i am back with another video guys as you can see i am outside in nature i decided to do this video outside okay um this video is going to be about relationship over religion okay because god is tired of his children walking and moving in religion jesus was crucified okay he was crucified because of religion okay and many other things but he was definitely crucified because of religion so let's get into it i have my book here i have my bible here and we about to get into this educated sermon study whatever you want to call it y'all but let's get into it relationship over religion okay so what is religion and what does it mean religion is the belief in and worship of a superhuman power or powers especially a god or gods first and foremost the holy spirit started prophesying all through this study in this sermon okay and one of the things he instantly spoke he said i am not a power i am the power okay he said i am the beginning and the ending ending according to revelation chapter 22 verse 13 okay he says i am the way the truth and the life according to john 14 verse 6 he said i never said follow a religion i said follow my way and you shall have life and truth will be added and revealed to you god said i said seek according to matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you you seek your way and not mine and that is why religion is here he said i hate religion i do not honor it i honor a righteous people who live in the way i have called them to so what does seek mean seek is to attempt to find something or to desire to obtain what do you desire to obtain if you are a walker in christ or someone who walks with god what do you desire to obtain do you desire to obtain a relationship or a religion because i know one thing for myself first and foremost i have relationship with god over religion okay a relationship or religion ask yourself that religion places you in a box okay god said i am a limitless god i am not trapped in your traditions God said, I sent my son, who is me and I am him, to show you the way to live, to show you how to be with me. Jesus never showed tradition or religion, which was once again why he was crucified, okay? Religion shows the evil in people's hearts, believe it or not. And I'm going to get to that and break it down once we get into this word, because religion really shows the evil in people's hearts and how they are more focused on their traditions and what they want to do than God. All right. So let's come up out of that and let's get into relationship. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to open my Bible. You guys can meet me there and we're going to go into the book of Matthew. All right, y'all. And we're going to be going to the book of Matthew chapter 12. Okay. And we're going to be doing chapter 12, verse 1 to 8. And here it says, I'm reading from the New King James Version. Here it says, Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Okay, so let's get into it. It says, at the time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. And his disciples were hungry and began to pluck heads of grain to eat. All right. It says, and when the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, look. Your disciples are doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath. Okay, for those of you who don't know what the Sabbath is, that is a holy day that many people back then have kept as a holy day for the Lord. Right. It says in verse three, but he said to them, okay, have you not read what David did when he was hungry? He and those who were with him. How he entered the house of God and ate the showbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priest, 
priests meaning pastors, okay? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? Let's continue. Continuing on to verse 6, he said, Yet I say to you that in this place there is one greater than the temple. He said, But if you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. Okay? He said, You will not have condemned the guiltless, for the Son of Man is Lord even on the Sabbath. So let's get into what Jesus was disagreeing with and what the Pharisees were doing in their religious ways on the Sabbath that they wanted to keep holy. Or did they really want to keep it holy for what their thoughts was and instead of what Jesus, God's thoughts was? Let's get into it. Okay, so what God had me write down is what Jesus meant, him, God, what he meant, right? And what Jesus meant was, I, God, am not trapped in your traditions, he said, I will have my followers and children do as I see fit at whatever time and whatever day, because I am greater than your traditions and your religion. And the reason why he was saying that was because he, the Pharisees did not understand why, you know, the disciples were eating, right? And he was showing them like, you guys are not Lord, you guys are not God. But yet and still you make these rules for people, no matter what the circumstances is, if somebody is in need, if they're hungry or anything, right? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12, verse seven, but if you had known that this, what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the guiltless, which means that the disciples were not guilty when they were eating or plucking fields of grain and things like that during the Sabbath day. Okay. Matthew 12 chapter eight says for the son of man is Lord even on the Sabbath. So if God tells you to do something, even on the day that you consider Sabbath or rest, then you do it because it is rather relationship obedience than your religious factor or traditional way of what you were doing. All right. Now, you know, we have to break it down. What does mercy mean? Mercy is compassion or forgiveness shown to someone who whom it is within one's power to punish or harm okay it is not in anybody's power only God's power to punish someone okay which is why God gives us mercy which is why God gives us grace and what Jesus was saying and what God was saying to me in this moment is where is the mercy from the followers in Christ why are you condemning are you condemning the guiltless like the Pharisees because of religion that God did not create is what he's asking. Where is your mercy? Where is your grace? He created a way of life that will give you eternal life and freedom, not tradition. He never wanted to drift tradition. Sorry. He wanted to break it. That is what we are here to do. What is God? God is here to do is to break tradition, break religion. Jesus also showed these things according to Matthew chapter 12, verse 9 to 14. And we're going to open the Bible back and we're going to get into it. So you could see how religious the Pharisees were. And this is how many people are. Okay. And to show that religion is a tradition for selfish ways of what you want to do rather than what God wants to do. And this is why he wants to break it. All right. So the next chapter is, which is the same chapter, chapter 12, but we're going from nine to 14. And this was healing on the Sabbath. Okay. So it says, now when he had departed from there, he went into their synagogue and behold, there was a man with who had a withered hand. Okay. And they asked him saying, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? that they might accuse him, right? Then he said to them, what man is there among you who has one sheep and if it falls into a pit on the Sabbath will not lay hold of it and lift it out, right? Who wouldn't save a sheep who has fallen just because it is the Sabbath day? Make it make sense, right? Verse 12, it says, of how much more value than a man is a man than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, stretch out your hand, right? And he stretched it out and it was restored as whole as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and plotted against him how they might destroy him. 
okay how evil is that ask yourself is that is that something that's good or is it evil evil all right so would you rather someone get healed on the sabbath day or would you rather someone with a withered hand with bad health and you would not help them because it's the sabbath day make it make sense imagine crying to god and saying lord i need healing i need your help i need your grace i need your mercy and the lord says mm, i can't help you because it's the sabbath day i gotta keep it holy so the next business day imagine dying and you like lord i want to live please save my life lord and you're calling on jesus and he says mm, it's the sabbath day it's not lawful to heal you on this day that would be an evil god so what god is saying is come out of your evil religious traditions many christians are religious when it comes to god and his people god would never and he has never intended religion. Many judge righteous people who wear chains and hoodies and dress a certain way when they are the righteous people of God. Many people in the body of Christ are judging based off the outer, outer appearance instead of the heart. What does God look at? He looks at your heart. He looks at what you're bearing, your obedience and your faith. Nothing about religion, okay? God is going to start testing those who focus more on tradition. All right, guys. So this is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Here's a word of advice that I have for you that the Holy Spirit said to give. If you are religious and living in tradition, ask God for ask God for forgiveness because he wants relationship over religion. He doesn't want religion. He doesn't want you living in a tradition. He doesn't want you living in re religious ways because he is not a religious God. So if you are religious, ask God for forgiveness. Religion is one of the reasons that Jesus was crucified because there were people who were stuck in their ways and they wanted to live the way that they wanted to live. They wanted to focus on their holidays, their traditions, the Sabbath day, Pentecost, all of these things. Okay. They wanted to to focus on all of these things instead of God. Focus on God. Are you seeking relationship or religion? Ask yourself that daily. Are you seeking relationship or religion? Okay? Do not put God in the box because he is a limitless God. He is not a traditional God. He is an all-knowing God. He is an all-doing God. And he will go and get that one sheep out of the pit. Okay? Not because just because it was resting day don't mean that he's not going to help somebody who is in need. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and more videos will be coming. There will be a part two to this video. I don't know when, whenever the Holy Spirit leads me. But thank you guys. I love you and stay blessed and holy. Mwah.